guys, welcome back. Last week, we finished off with Moses and the Israelites going across the Red Sea. God rescued them when they were in an impossible situation. Remember, the Red Sea was on one side, and Pharaoh and his chariots were on the other side, and they could not get themselves out of that mess. They could not rescue themselves. And so we talked a little bit about how sin puts us in an impossible situation too. And we can't rescue ourselves. And so our new Bible point for the next four weeks is actually that Jesus rescues us. So every time you hear me say, Jesus rescues us, I want you to put your hands out, kind of like a cross, and I want you to say, yay, Jesus. All right, let's practice, ready? Jesus rescues us, yay, Jesus. All right, so don't forget, every time I say, Jesus rescues us, how are you gonna respond? Nice job. Okay, so that means we are moving from the Old Testament into the New Testament, and we're gonna spend this next bit of time finding out different ways that Jesus rescues us. He is the rescuer. So today's story is going to be in the book of Luke, chapter two. So I want you to grab your Bibles and you're gonna hit pause here in just a minute and I want you to read the story with your, with your brothers and sisters, with your family, all by yourself if you want, but get out the Bible. And yeah, this is a familiar story. It's the story of Jesus being born. But this story is not just for Christmas. The fact that Jesus came to set us free, that he came to rescue us, is a story that we can read all year long. So don't go past this because you think you already know the story. Think of it in terms of Jesus came to rescue us. Maybe not the way that people were expecting the rescuer to come, but he did come. Jesus rescues us. Nice job. So hit pause, read Luke chapter two, verses one through 20 in your Bible. Then when you come back, we have a brand new Bible memory buddy. His name is Guac. He's an iguana, and he has a special, a special message just for you. Hey kids, what's up? I'm Guac, and I'm an iguana. If you're hanging out on the beach in the Caribbean or somewhere in South America, you might look up from your hammock and see me hanging out in the tree above your head. We like it here, because it's often sunny and warm. Ah. What a beautiful day. I'm a reptile, a lizard actually. We iguanas are some of the largest lizards around. Yep, we're pretty big. We're around 11 pounds. That's about how much your pet cat weighs. <coughs> I'm sure you can't help but notice my amazing tail. Isn't it totally rad? Iguanas can grow to be around seven feet long. About half our length is our tail. Wow, my tail is pretty special. If other critters want to make me into a snack, God gave me an unexpected way to escape. I can detach my tail so it comes off completely. Surprise! That gives me a chance to get away. My detachable tail rescues me. Whew. Don't worry, it'll grow back eventually. I just have to wait a bit. In the Bible, people were waiting a long time for a savior or rescuer to be born. They needed help. So God gave the world Jesus. Jesus rescues, but maybe not in the way you'd expect. No one expected God's answer to be a baby in a manger. What a totally awesome surprise. In the Bible, book of Titus chapter three, verse five, it says he saved us, not because of the righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. Jesus can help you when you are waiting too. Keep an eye out. Along the way, he'll send reminders of his love and care for you. Maybe he'll send a hug, or a win, or an unexpected surprise. You can trust that your friend Jesus will come through for you, sometime and in some way. Jesus rescues us. Jesus rescues us. Yay, Jesus, right? And what did he rescue us from? Jesus rescued us from a broken relationship with God. Remember guys, that's what sin does. Sin takes a relationship and it always, always 
breaks it. When I sin against somebody in my family, it breaks my relationship with that person in my family. But more importantly, what sin ultimately does is it breaks our relationship with God and we're left alone in this world. Well, when Jesus came, when he came to rescue us, they called him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Jesus came not only to save us from our sin, but saving us from our sin meant that he came so that we never have to be alone again. He came to rescue us. Isn't that such good news? That is the good news, guys. That's the gospel. So keep an eye open for ways this week that you can show love to others the way Jesus has shown love to you. Be a good friend. Be a good brother or sister. Be a good son or daughter. And the world will see Jesus because they see you. Love you guys so much. Remember that you are loved. Thank you.